the beginning of the series to uh, Jimmy and Richard have secured our French our, uh, alliance. We are as close as friends could be. Um, I think it's three or four months after the end of the last season. So um, I'm, I live in Atlantic City now. I keep a, a, a guest room and um, we are in a bit of a flux of, I mean, within our relationship with Nucky and um, that side of things, but um, me and Jimmy are pretty much uh, set in that I'm his right-hand guy. In the last season, I, I, we sort of just scratched the surface of Richard Harris, so, um, which was, I mean, a really good surface because it told you a lot about a guy without doing too much, luckily. But um, this season, um, we really get to the heart of him. I think we, we discover about his past, um, which, I, I, I was dying to find out more about his past because it's so interesting when you're doing a series, you're reading it like episode for episode, so you're discovering it as we're making it. So there's obviously you talk to them and you you get given a bit of a idea, but a lot of it's left up to you know. So you, you're doing something without actually knowing where they come from or what they're doing. So I think you have to have a very solid idea in your head of who you are, who the character is. But it's good this season. We really get to the root of. Um, who Rich is, where he is internally at this moment, in, at the moment in time when the show begins, as well as um, given a good backstory of where he came from, who he was before the war, what the war did to him. So it's, um, I think, we, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun this one. I came, as soon as I read it, there was, um, the, Part was written um, with, um, in England we say four stops, here they say um, uh, periods. But they'd write, well obviously you can say periods, but they, the, the sentences would be broken up with periods in very strange places. So there was instantly this thing where he obviously didn't speak in the right way, but the rest was sort of left up to me of how I discovered that. And I gave myself mm, a weird gurgle where I speak in this way, because I felt like maybe my voice box was damaged as well as um, my face, um, but that I put cotton gauze in my mouth, which stretches one side of my face underneath my mask, which means it's actually quite difficult and painful to speak sometimes, especially your mouth dries out, it's very hard to form words, um, and then, I mean, the mask really helps. <laughs> Um, it's, um, it's, 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 it's a job, it's, it's tough doing it, but it's, um, it's something where actually you enjoy doing it because it adds to the character for me. Like, I actually like doing it because I, it's fun playing a real character because you actually really lose yourself completely in them. I'm completely lost when I play Richard. Like, that, I'm him from the moment I put that mask on. <laughs> I remember doing like um, comedia theatre when I was younger and it was funny because when you put on a mask you have to tell so much more of it, it sounds strange, but so much more of the story with your body or, I mean this, it's nice because there's half a face. Um, so I still get to, you know, with this part of me, but it's, it's, a, str it's, it's, it's a funny thing because some people would think it's sort of hiding you, but another, Part of me feels like you have to almost give like twice as much, <laughs> really. We got on from day one and it's nice because we have such a close relationship within the show, in the story. Um, being in the war together, I think there's something that happens that's sort of unspoken. Uh, you don't like there's a trust, there's an instant sort of brotherhood that sort of I, I believe that we had from day one. And me and Mike have gotten on incredibly well, we get on very well outside of the show as well, but he's just really good, it's great, he's one of a very giving actor where um, we, now and again we play things or he'll push you a bit further in the scene and vice versa, so we, um, yeah, it, we, I, I, have a, I, have a, I have a great time working with him. I, I, I actually really, we take it incredibly serious, like when we're actually there doing it. So it's, it's, it's tough because, you know, it's very emotional a lot of the time as well, especially my character I get very emotional about because it's, you know, it's sort of horrific, like, to be in that position, to be that person. So um, I'm lucky enough to have someone opposite you who actually wants to get the best out of the scenes as well. You know, so that's always fun. We've got to a point where um, 
it's not that, and it, like now I feel like our, our relationship's deeper than that. So I feel like there's a trust between the two of them that we're actually Mike really, um, Jimmy, I always say, but Jimmy really listens to Harrow and respects and wants his opinion. And I think um, there's a lot of things that even if I don't agree with, I believe that I, I, I'll go along with it because I'll do anything for you. You know what I mean? I, I, I'll take a bullet for you, so I'm gonna do it. I'm not. I, I don't agree with everything decision you're making, but nonetheless, you brought me into this. I've got your back through and through no matter what. So that's nice. That comes across, I believe, and that's why there's so much that um, you don't have to say. We just, I think you just believe with me and him, that, and which is true, you know. I just believe that we have each other's back and that's going to be a friendship that's going to last till the day we die. You think everyone's sort of redeemable and then they have these so, such unredeeming qualities about them in the show. Everyone goes out and does things which you're like, oh, that's not quite right. But you sort of forgive them because I think in the period you did what you did to survive or you did what you could do to get ahead or to make a buck or, you know what I mean? It wasn't an easy period. It wasn't, you know, it was just post like the depression. I mean, money was scarce. Jobs were even scarcer, so you know, you sort of understand it. Like, sorry, you, you know, you, you get why these guys might have certain qualities, you know. I, and I also think you, you try to have as much fun with what you have. So you know, while working hard, they probably play hard and they did a lot of other things hard. So. <laughs> How does it feel to have everything?